everybody, it's Dr. McVeary here, and this is our last video in the basics of objectives. Um, what we just watched was how you can unpack a standard to discover the um, knowledge and skills that students need to be able to demonstrate by the end of the year. And we realized how many objectives can be uh, found in just one standard. Today, I want to show you a tip on how you can use cognitive taxonomies to help you um, come up with objectives. I actually leave some of the tools I'm going to share with you today just hanging up in my office just so I can quickly like remember them and, and reflect back on them. Um, and so kind of taxonomies, where do they really come from? Well, back in like the mid 50s, um, a, 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 a psychologist, you know, uh, I think it was David Bloom. It's definitely Bloom, but you can't, I think the name first name was David. Um, and it was about 56, 56, I think. His team came up with this idea of Bloom's taxonomy. Then one of the people on that team, um, David Crothwell, and a, a bunch of others a few years later, kind of flipped it around. But the whole idea was that we could divide up lower order thinking skills and higher order thinking skills, like, you know, define, um, um, identify. Those are lower order. But synthesize and evaluate, those are harder, higher order thinking skills. And um, then there, so those frameworks have just kind of taken off and they're great tools that we can use when we need to come up with drop the mic objectives that allow our students to really uh, demonstrate what they've learned. You know, yeah, you can have, you can remember, um, understand, apply, analyze, evaluate and create. Um, and we'll talk about all those ideas, but the idea is um, originally um, synthesized with uh, was below evaluate, evaluate was on top in the original model, and they renamed synthesizing to create, because it is something bigger, and put that on top of the model. Um, and you can come up with a good list of verbs, and I'm going to show you ideas of where you can, you know, like for example, for, for create, design, assemble, construct, conjecture, develop, but recall facts, remember, define, duplicate, uh, repeat, state, all things that are measurable, verbs that you can measure. Another one that we can use, and I will hang this right back up onto my desk um, wall, and I, it's just right there for me to always use. Another one I like to use is uh, Webb's depth of knowledge, and that's based on four levels that you have um, recall, uh, then you have level two uh, of can they get that? Can they do the skill? Can they actually do something with it? Then level three is more that strategic thinking. Now that they know the, the declarative information, now that they know, you know, they, they can do the, the 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 conditional like they are the um, uh, so now that they know how to do it, is do they know when to do it? Can they can they reflect on if they are successful? Strategically think about it, and so that's level three. And then level four is then to extend and think about alternative, you know, endings. And really extend that um, that information into extended thinking. And there's good lists of verbs there. So level one, you have things like infer, uh, organize, construct. Level two, oh sorry, those are level two words. Le level three words would be um, you know revise, appraise, critique. Uh, level four is to design, to connect, um, synthesize. Be careful, make sure most of those level four words um, aren't as measurable, and they might be more of a goal kind of thing. So uh, make sure when you're thinking objectives, you always think, drop the mic. Is it measurable, independent, and criteria-based? And all right, everybody, that are, that's the three basics on how you can formulate learning objectives. Um, talk to everyone soon.